on a mission. I'm paying dues. I'm in position. I'm staying up. It's getting late. You're doing good. I'm doing great. Recognition. I'm on a mission. I'm paying dues. I'm in position. I'm staying up. It's getting late. You're doing good. I'm doing great. Hours of practice, they don't feel like working. Overthinking, I don't mean to let the pain and hurt him. I was main stage with Tiny at a festival. Realities of fuck is less than 24 hours pass and I'm back to working. The wage isn't minimum, but when you know your worth is more, you make your own curriculum. Yeah. Study in the industry, I know you see me killing them. Nice, it felt so real, I had some moments I was living them. Woo. Celebrity, civilian, walk amongst the greats that you ignore. The ones relentlessly pursuing every key to every door. Yeah. It's evergreen and ever more if you're content with living normally. I'm handing in my notice to the world on record formally. Yeah. I know this life is right for me. Uh-huh. I know the future's bright for me. Real. I know my teachers lied to me. I do it for the ones that came before and nearly died for me. Recognition, I'm on a mission. Yeah. I'm paying dues. Yeah. I'm in position. I'm staying up. It's getting late. You're doing good. I'm doing great. Recognition, I'm on a mission. Yeah. I'm paying dues. Yeah. I'm in position. I'm staying up. It's getting late. So calm. We're back again. Back again. We're on wheat. That I do know. Mm-hmm. Everything's much the same as last year. We just wanted to catch up. Michael's chopping away or combining away. Chopping's maybe not the right word. Combining away. What have he's changed this year? I noticed one thing. You're not steering. I'm not steering, no. <laughs> we got GPS uh, fitted to the two combines for to uh so we're mapping with the two machines. Is that something that gets at, within the farm here? Is you're trying to get more into the mapping? And well, we're trying to get more into the mapping for very right spreading of fertilizer and like even for lime and stuff like that. You know, check it. You'll be able to see on uh, different parts of the field where you're lacking and where you, you know. You know, that's what I've cut. That's the yield, which you'll get. So when with his when the two are put together, you'll see all the bits that I haven't cut, that he's cut, and then, you know, one will sit there on top of the other, we are moisture. Moisture's a little bit high at the minute, but... A bit uh, high, but it's a case of pushing on with yeah, the year we're, we're getting, having. We're, we're getting more rain, it's supposed to be forecast today, so we have to just keep pushing on, as they say. So, but what is the, bar the steering, what, what's the main reason behind the, the, the GPS here? You're talking about linking it to sowing, linking it to spraying, linking it... Is that all going back into like a central computer working out a program? Does that mean that when you go spraying or you go fertilizer sowing or any of them things, you you can load a map in there and it, it it'll add fertilizer according to where yields were. Well, that's yeah, months. that's what we're aiming to try and do. Yeah, like a, we're getting lads to go around soil sampling land that we we have cut and we have our maps for this year and let them see. We want to see if their results are going to correspond to. What our map has, but this is really step one and getting consistent maps. Yeah, doing this here. But link, so then, link and the sprayer, the spreader, the you know, it's all together. And this would be what you call our. This is the RTX system. So this is the subscription system. Yeah, it's in now because the other, the other AB lane was okay, but you were just weren't running and. So no, right, I, I had a, I had the RTX and this, and he was running the Ignas on the other one, and it just Ignas is the, it's Ignas is okay for running your power harrow or you know doing a bit of ring roll and stuff like that not something where you wanted you know i'd be going in the field and he could be running off it was just it was very hard to match it in so we got the subscription on the other combine as well so do you find as your days work easier because of it yeah well i wouldn't be as uh you wouldn't be as fatigued in the evening your concentration 
you know, you're concentrating on steering and you're concentrating on the header and you're concentrating on this, that, you know, at least you're, well. Aye, it's that wee bit easier. Yeah. And then actually setting it up, what's involved in setting it up? Can you go into a field line? Yeah, well, when I go into the field, you can put in a heading if you wanted to go 180 degrees, boom, straight on ahead. You know, if you look back here, that's my GPS heading, I'm 279.4 degrees. So if I want to put that in, I can throw that in and she'll know to just keep driving that the whole time. You can do a circular if you just want to keep cutting around the circle, a curved, so that you'd be using your curved one on your headland. Curved and straight, that'd be it. I don't use any of the rest of them. So I'd go in and press straight, and then it gives you, uh, you'll come up here, mark A, mark B. So generally what I do is, you just drive maybe 15, 20 yards, you, you, when you mark your A, drive your 15, 20 yards, or drive the full length of your field, mark B, turn around, away you go. So where are we at now? We're just at the beginning of this, we're really at the very last days yeah, of August, August here. Yeah. What's all happening about the place? Well the lads are digging with Aidas this morning. They're, uh, they added 10, 15 tonnes to dig this morning. We're trying to get, weather wise, we're trying to get, see if we can get the onions lifted. You didn't see the onion harvest in progress, no? I've never seen onion harvest, no, but we're going to come down and see it. But I have heard there's a new machine under it. Yeah, there's a new machine there this year with... Um, Car spec, I was told. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I know, it's a, it was a joint venture. <laughs> wasn't, Aye, wasn't. Your spec, <laughs> Conrad Chris checkbook. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's the joint venture. <laughs> no, but she is. She's um, she's completely different. Yeah, got a um, a system put into it for taking out smalls, taking out the small onions, safe bringing them back to the yard. So you've got a. Like we've a, got a sizer fitted into it. There was a dead space on the picking table maybe of a metre and a half, two metres that nobody can stand at to do a bit of grading. So we got, a, got them to fit in a, a unit out of a grader where we can open it up, open up the gap to take out small potatoes or small onions. And uh, as I say, the likes of the small onions they are being brought from the field to the grader to be brought back to the field to be tipped out or spread across the field and ploughed in. So leave them in the field if we don't want them. Oh. Um, but that's not something that, that's not something they've done before. But no, uh, this is the, this is the first uh, this is the first time they've actually done something like this. So, and when when are we expecting to see this machinery in time for the onions, basically? Well, yeah, hopefully. Well, it was over with them yesterday, and uh, we were, they wanted to make delivery of it either today or tomorrow. So it's it's currently in their new premises in Berbrigan, getting PDI'd and checked over. And, a little bit of a wash and a valet and a valet. A valet. I do want a valet at the cab. And ah, they were just putting a few extra little pieces on it. Uh, LED beacon lights in the front and CB. Uh, <laughs> CB is in it. The canopy and frame. <laughs> stuff, stuff like that. Small Aye. stuff that had to be. Uh, and you were over in Germany and all when this was. Well, it was in, 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 in the UK. UK yeah. yeah, I know. And I've been in the factory in Germany a, a, a good few times before. But uh, we went over to the UK. Myself and Thomas went over. Uh, twice to see, meet the designer and meet up about what way they were going to do this. And But it was amazing to see them. They were able to actually build a machine on the CAD. We were looking at it and they started, oh, I'll take this piece out and I'll try this piece in and turn it all oh, around. Oh, it's unreal. Oh, it's some, something else. You have kept the chaser bit. Yeah. Ah, uh, listen, it's a... Uh, it's, it's worth three, four men best men in the field and the lads can go off like at the minute the lads are some of the lads are ploughing and pressing ground for for the saw one so like that can't be done if they're here with us in the field with tractors no, and trailers so no. you know it, it is it's working out you know it's working well and they, they've done a few little changes to it they lengthen the augers on it and a few little bits and pieces like that so uh what's this in the front of the fence we were just afraid to see when when we got the gps fitted on the combines before that he was we were moving out side fill so now he's straddling the row of straw and we were just afraid of straw getting caught in the draw bar and dragging a load of straw and then we're having the bailer man giving out and well a name uh, a name three name would drag a bit of straw like drag it, 
Yeah. Like a lump of fraud the size of the chaser bit there. <laughs> by the time you'd be, by the time you'd be feeling the drag there, you'd be. <laughs> you'd have a lot of straw behind you. So it's just to press down the, the row of straw. Just, we're just giving, we're not actually letting it down on the row. It's just to pack it down. It's nearly like, in the, on the, you know, the way on the McHale Fusion, you have the little roller on the intake. It's, uh, so what, and that bin is holding the 30 ton that it's taking it from on the bulker with, isn't it, eh? Yeah, <laughs> it, it, we're actually having to, uh, we're not filling it as much as we were last year because stuff is, Weighing an awful lot heavier this year. Aye, bushels is up. Yeah, bushels are way up. Last year we were we'd be bang on the 30. This year, if you were to fill it as full as we we're filling it last year, you'd be 33, 34 at home. So uh, Aye, that's just we're just uh, yeah, that's, yeah that's even just, at, even yeah. at that now, this uh, he'll know himself. He's the scales and the lorry, so just keep him. Uh, Look at. Ah, uh, you had to keep the thing sort of right, don't you? Is the wheat winter wheat near done yet, or? If we got another, we got another four or five days, we'd be, we'd be happy. We'd get the, we'd get the wheat done. We've a bit of spring barley and a few beans. Um, other than that, but as I say, it's trying to get a, it's trying to get a good run. We're not getting a good run. You get two or three days and then rain. If you were to get two weeks, in the ideal world. Well, these combines. So then that's these combines now are into their one, two. two third season. This is their third season. Yeah. Strollwalker Combine, still the answer. Would you like to go back to the rotary? What's your favourite? I know Michael thinks says the Strollwalkers are working well. Ah, uh, the walkers are working well, yeah. It, it all depends what you want. It, okay, they, they say the rotary combines, some of them are very easy, are easier on straw than what they used to be, but we're bailing a lot of barley straw on that for the, for the cattle and even the mushroom. And it's, your straw quality is far superior from the walker machine, as everybody knows, but what other combines have you tried? Uh, have you tried the likes of deer or any Oh other? yeah, yeah, yeah. John Deere. Class. Dites are very... Uh, there used to be a few dites around here too, but... Oh, what a tracker. Dites? Oh, dites. Have a nice wee 451 Agro Primo home there. What? Everybody's disgusted at me. I love them. <laughs> They're a proper old school. Ah. Uh, As the boy said to me the other day, they were the fint of their time. Yeah, well, what was I looking at the other day? The Zetter. Okay. I know. This okay. is not the same conversation. I know. This but, is... <laughs> but, but they were way ahead of their time, though. Back in the 70s, they had their compressor, they had their suspension, you know, and... Well, they were the first tractor to have the passenger seat fitted. Yeah. That was for the mechanic, but... Yeah. <laughs> that's right enough. I'm sure Sammy was the one that led the, the front assist, as they call it, or the four-wheel drive. Yeah, yeah. You won't get the Americans calling it the four-wheel drive, but... I know there's some difference between we've the 1900 Harvester sitting in the shade there, and then the brand new FR. And you see the two of them side by side, of the TW, and then you have your 315, that, you have yeah. 390 T Massey. The new man, you know, there's some... <laughs> but they all work on the same principle, they're all yeah. doing the same thing, but yet... Uh, how, how they've changed over the last course of 25 years or 30 years. Unreal. It's technology and that is kind of Oh yeah.